Hello and welcome. My name is Danny, and I'm a consultant here at SMV Virtual Consulting, where we make no code software easy and efficient for everyone. Today, we're gonna dive into Fillout. Fillout is an amazing tool for creating forms, and it integrates seamlessly with databases like SmartSuite and Airtable, just to name a few. Whether you're new to no code solutions or you're trying to navigate something that we built for you, this tutorial is going to be perfect for you. Fellow helps streamline the collection of data into apps like SmartSuite and Airtable. So if you're looking to collect information and data efficiently, Fillout's gonna be your tool. First, we're gonna start building our structure on SmartSuite. First, log in and pick your workspace and it will bring you to this page. And then next, you're gonna do add new solution and click create from scratch. Now it's time to build out your SmartSuite table. So for the sake of this tutorial, I went ahead and filled out mine. Make sure that everything is very well organized because this is gonna be the place where all the information that you're collecting from your fill out form is going to be stored. So it's very crucial for this to be well organized and well labeled. For the sake of this tutorial, I went ahead and did it as an SMV job application. So we're gonna eventually make a form that's gonna help collect data from future applicants. That's gonna include their contact information as well as references. Once your database is properly set up, then it's time to switch over to fill out to start building your form. Once you've logged in, it's going to bring you to a space similar to this one. What you wanna do if you wanna start making a form is go over here to the upper right hand corner. It says make a fill out, click that. And first things first, we need to connect it with our SmartSuite database. So you don't see SmartSuite listed here, we're gonna go do another integration. For this example, we're gonna just do a plain form. So once you click plain, you're gonna go over down here to create form in the bottom right hand corner. And we're gonna label this SMV job application so that it matches our SmartSuite database, hit continue. Now it brings you to here. This is the first page of your form. It's a blank canvas, but before we do any of that, we're gonna go over here to integrations and we're gonna connect it with our SmartSuite database. And so we're gonna do connect new account and then we're going to find our SmartSuite API key and our workspace ID. Our workspace ID is going to be located over in our SmartSuite table. It's going to be this set of characters located in your URL, and it's going to be right after the .com slash and before the second slash. So we're gonna copy this. This is our workspace ID these eight characters and we're gonna go ahead and put it over here. Now we need to find our SmartSuite API key. Our SmartSuite API key is gonna be located over here and your profile icon in the upper right hand corner of your SmartSuite page. So we're gonna just scroll down here. It's underneath my profile all the way down to here where it says API key we're gonna click that. And this is our API token. You're gonna copy and paste it into the fill out area for the API key. So once you've copied your API key from over in SmartSuite, you paste it over here in the API key area over here on fill out. Um, right now this is blurred because your API key is almost just exactly like a password. So that is something that you definitely don't wanna share. Once it's copy and pasted in the API key spot, you're gonna go over here to the bottom right hand corner and hit connect. And then go over here, pick your solution. So we're gonna go all the way down to where we see our solution that we created earlier in SmartSuite, which is SMV job application, click it. And then we're gonna do contacts. That's where we're gonna start. 
and hit continue. And right here, I'm gonna pick create record because every single person that fills out my form on fill out, I want it to create a new record on my smart suite table. So we're gonna click this and hit finish setup. Once you're done integrating your database with your fill out form, now it's time to start creating your form. So you're gonna go back up here to the main bar up top and move over to edit. This is your blank page for your fill out form. So first you wanna kinda of design it. I like adding a heading and a picture, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go over here to our left side of the page, over here to our display elements, and we're gonna click heading. And we're gonna label this job application. Great, and then I also love adding an image and you have the option to doing that over here. So we're gonna click image. You can change your image to any one of the templated images that you have available to you right here. Let's go ahead and upload a picture that we have. And we're going to go ahead and pick just this right here I think would do. Great and it takes a while for it to upload. Now we're gonna set the image. Perfect. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in some of our Smart Suite fields. They're located over here in the text section of the left-hand column. So we're gonna just start clicking it. You can also drag and drop. And let's go ahead and add in all the information. Notice how all these are taking up the entire width of the page. You can fix that by going over here to your settings panel and scrolling down. And right here, you see the toggle for required and half width. We're gonna toggle all of these on for required and all of these on for half width. So go ahead and click that. And then how you do that, highlight and then required half width. Again, highlight, required half width. And then highlight, required half width. Awesome. Now they're all half width. I like to organize uh, all the fields so that they make sense. You can align them in two columns and I'm going to go ahead and do that right over here by dragging and dropping. And that's essentially how you organize your fill out form. Next, let's talk about adding a page to your form. So underneath the area that you just got done creating on, you go all the way down to click add page. This pops up all the different types of pages that you can add to your form anywhere from you can schedule a meeting and have it integrate with your calendar or you can collect payments with your Stripe account, or you can actually just add another form page. So either way, pick the one that best suits your needs. Next, let's talk about linking records. So let's go back to our Smart Suite table. Remember, we had contacts right here. So the fill out form that we've already created is going to fill in the information, the data that we're collecting into this table right here. Next, we're gonna do references. So we wanna actually link this table to the form that we've already created. We can do that. So let's go back over here to fill out and over here in our elements and field and text area, we scroll all the way down and we actually see our references table right over here underneath choices. We're gonna drag and drop it right here I like to separate it with the divider because as we discussed, I like to keep it nice and or organized. And then I wanna also add a heading. So we're gonna tell the people filling out this form to please enter three professional references. So this will let them know what we need to do. And over here is the references. So how we're is we're gonna click this and highlight it. We're gonna go over here to our settings panel and we are going to say can select multiple because we want them to do three professional references. And we're also gonna make this required because we don't want them to submit it 
without adding that. And then we are going to click over here, create records. So this is going to make it so that when they enter in information, it's going to populate in our records table over on our database. And then we are going to go down here to advanced and we are going to only show new selections right here. So great. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we hit add and we're going to do create new. And so see, you can start entering in all the information right here the references let's go ahead and add another feature this is a job application so let's go ahead and add a section where they can actually upload their resume in the form so we're going to move back over to smart suite and under contacts we're going to go ahead and add a field right over here and we want to search for uploading a resume would be an attachment so let's go ahead and search for attachments and then files and images right here. So we're gonna go ahead and label this resume. Great. Add field. Then we're gonna move back over to fill out and we're going to just refresh this page so that it pops up. And then you scroll down to the bottom of the elements panel over here and right here you have resume. So we're gonna drag and drop it and then We'll go ahead and just give them instruction. Upload your resume. Awesome. Now let's give the job applicants a chance to pick the job that they are applying for. So to do that, go back over to Smart Suite and create an extra table over here by adding a table by hitting this plus sign. We labeled our jobs and then fill in the job information right here. That way, when you go over here to fill out, you can actually have a pop up over here in your elements panel under choices. So it's linked to jobs. So we're gonna drag and drop it right here. Pick your job. That way they can go right here and click add and they can pick to be a no code wizard. Last but not least, let's go ahead and edit the page that they see once they submit it. So you can do this by going down to the bottom of your form right next to page. You can see the ending right here. So this is what they're going to see once they submit their form and you can edit any one of these text fields. So we're going to say, thank you. Um, we will be in touch with the status of your application shortly and just like that it's done congratulations you've made it through the entire setup of your fill out form now let's make sure this works so first you're going to go over here to the up right hand corner we're going to hit publish and then we're going to go over here to preview. So this will allow you to see what it's going to look like to the end user. So let's start filling out all the fields and make sure it's going to populate correctly in smart suite. Finish entering in all the information here. And a phone number. Perfect. And then we're going to add a reference. We're going to do create new and burgers are us. Reference name Sally. Her email is Sally at burgers.com. And her phone number is right here. Perfect. So we're going to hit submit. And then we're going, we don't have an, uh, a resume to upload, but we're going to go ahead and pick our job. And we want to be a no code wizard and we're going to hit submit. Ta-da, all done. Now, all you have to do now to see if it went over to your database is click over here to smart suite and verify that all the information popped up, which it looks like it did. So Sam Smith phone number there, and then also references. So good job. 
you correctly set up fill out and it's populating correctly in smart suite it is that easy i hope i gave you enough confidence that you feel like you can go out and tackle any fill out job all on your own we've only just begun to explore the vast capabilities of fill out this versatile tool offers so much more than I've had the chance to show you in our tutorial from processing payments, scheduling meetings, passing additional information through subforms, and even setting visibility conditions in the fields. There are countless ways to customize your forms that you make on Fillout. To stay up to date on all of our videos that release on our YouTube page at SMV Virtual Consulting, please like and follow our page.